Okay, so we're at the beach today. I have a maternity photo shoot and this is going to be one of our backdrops. We're at Zuma Beach. My husband is my cameraman today. Alright, so we're gonna get shooting soon. She's gonna be arriving here shortly. So I really enjoyed this background or this backdrop, but I don't think it quite worked out for what I was envisioning but I'm still really pleased with the shots that we got in front of it. Look off to the... Oh yeah, wait, look straight out. And then, yeah, the wind is... And for this next shot, I did really want there to be some just pictures of Rebecca's bump. I was too short, so she had to bend down a little bit. <laughs> During the planning stages of this photo shoot, Rebecca sent me over her Pinterest board of what she was kind of envisioning for this photo shoot. A few of the images were of the pregnant woman in the water. We chose Zuma because it's easier for us to get in the water versus westward where it's a shore pound. Um, and I kind of struggled in the water, but it's fine because I'm used to being in the water with my surf photography. And I think some of the images that we got in the water were really great. And um, I'm glad we were able to have that experience and that she was able to get these shots. So for this shot, I had seen a shot like this on Pinterest and I kind of wanted to recreate it because I thought it was so cute and <laughs> even though she asked for no cheesy maternity pictures, I thought that this wasn't too cheesy. Now these pictures that we took where she was sitting down are some of my favorites from the photo shoot. It's just so simple and classic, just like she wanted. So these flowers I had actually bought for Rebecca on our way to the photo shoot. I decided 
to go swing by the grocery store and pick out these flowers and they were such a beautiful little blush pink and I think they photographed really well <laughs> and she we gave them to her um, at the end of the photo shoot So while Rebecca and I were still in the planning stages again, I went to a couple different beaches and shot some video of what the beaches look like and Rebecca chose to have her photo shoot at Westward because of these rocks. Now my biggest struggle during the editing process was the underwear that she was wearing <laughs> kept showing through the fabric and it was something that I should have noticed during the photo shoot um, so I definitely had to struggle editing those or editing the line out to look good. <laughs> These pictures with the bouquet and her holding them down like that I loved them I think I only ended up sending one to her but they were so beautiful I never would have thought about that but she's the one that suggested holding them down Rebecca had expressed to me during the planning process that she hadn't really considered ever taking maternity pictures and that she thought that they were so cheesy because of stories she had heard from friends who had had maternity pictures done. But I could tell towards the end of the photo shoot she was really getting comfortable, getting into it, and so I'm so proud of how they turned out.
Now this one again, Rebecca was a lot taller than I am and so I had to get up on the rock to get the shots that I wanted for this part. The sun was starting to come out a little bit. It was getting low enough in the sky where it was just really flattering and so I wanted to capture some backlit photos. Now if you'll notice in my raw images, they're kind of dark. That's because I was exposing for the highlights. I knew that I could bump up the shadows in editing and I really didn't want to blow out my highlights. So that's what I did there. It was so much fun getting to do this for Rebecca. This was a free session and I'm so happy that she loved the way that the photos turned out and she was actually so happy with how they turned out that she actually ended up purchasing an album from my PicTime website. So although the session was free, I still ended up making some money from it, which is awesome. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed, and I can't wait to film my next photo shoot adventure. Bye!